In April of 2012, my wife Lorraine and I discovered that a pair of red-bellied woodpeckers were building a nest in a dead branch of the maple tree behind our house. The nest was located just outside our upstairs bathroom window, which gave me a golden opportunity to document the family affairs of this pair. The red-bellied is sometimes mistakenly called red-headed, but as the name implies, there is a red patch edged with a yellowish wash on the belly of both the male and the female. When nesting, males typically choose the site and begin the excavation, and then try to attract the female by tapping softly on the wood around or in the cavity. When the female accepts, she taps along with the male, then helps to complete the project. In this case, they traded places every 15 to 20 minutes. The nest cavity is typically 6 to 12 inches deep and 3 and a half to 5 inches wide. Periodically, the one doing the excavation would gather a mouthful of chips, stick its head out of the hole, and then scatter the chips rather vigorously. Many have asked me why they do this. My guess is that by scattering the chips over a wide area, it is less likely that a predator will become aware that a nest exists. The Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology website reports that the same pair may nest in the same cavity year after year, but usually create a new cavity each year, often located below the previous years. We are hoping that this pair will reuse the same nest next year or at least build a new one in the same branch. Let's pause for a moment and examine the woodpecker's tongue. A red-bellied woodpecker can stick its tongue out nearly two inches past the end of its beak. The tip is barbed and the bird's saliva is sticky, which helps it extract prey from deep crevices. The nest excavation has now gone on for several weeks and the male now appears to have decided that the nest is completed and is announcing this to the female. From this point on, egg laying and incubation occurred. Four to six eggs are typically laid on a bed of wood chips remaining from excavating the nest cavity. When incubation begins, the male in incubates at night and the female during the day. The chicks hatch in about 12 days and fledge in 22 to 27 days.
Many bird nestlings expel their feces in a fecal sac, which the parents either consume or pick up with their beaks and carry away from the nest. In this case, apparently no fecal sac is produced, but rather the parent gathers up the fecal material periodically, emerges from the nest with a beak full, and flies off with it. My observation has been that most birds do a good job of keeping their nest clean, and apparently this pair is no exception. Red bellies eat mainly insects, spiders, and other arthropods. They also eat acorns, nuts, seeds, fruits, and berries. They occasionally will eat lizards, nestling birds, and even minnows. As this footage shows, these parents brought quite a variety of food for the chick. We have a suet feeder located nearby, and suet was frequently included in the diet. As the chick grew, we began to see its head inside the opening, and then it began to stick its head out of the nest, obviously very curious about the outside world. I found it fascinating that as the chick matured, it got increasingly feistier. When fledge time approached, it was beginning to peck at the parent, sometimes very aggressively, trying to pull feathers from the parent's abdomen. Perhaps this is typical teenage behavior for a red-bellied woodpecker. This chick is now expressing a steadily increasing interest in the world beyond its nest. It appears very curious and increasingly restless. This footage was captured approximately three to four days before the chick took its leap of faith and joined the outside world. Once the chick left the nest, we discovered that it returned to the tree of its origins rather frequently, usually several times a day. This included returning to the nesting branch and even peering into the nest opening, although I did not observe it actually entering the nest cavity. On one occasion, he went to the top of the nesting branch and did some grooming. He would also frequently visit the suet feeder from which his parents extracted some of his early diet. The final scene shows this maturing red-bellied youngster practicing his maneuvering skills in a nearby little leaf linden tree while being observed by a male bluebird. In closing, I want to acknowledge that much of the factual detail concerning red-bellied woodpeckers 
was drawn from the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology's website. I also hope that you have found this brief documentary informative and perhaps enlightening.